Mm -hmm. I'm Dr. Tiffany Anderson, the superintendent of Topeka Public Schools, and I am so proud to celebrate our Topeka Public Schools graduation ceremony with you. So we have a virtual ceremony, as we know some people prefer to attend virtually. We also want this to be a keepsake for all of our students graduating. We also have an in-person ceremony this year, and we're so glad that we're back down into the lowest numbers of any kind of pandemic spread that allows for that to happen. So I'm going to give just one general speech, which normally I get a chance to really personalize this for each ceremony. So I'm going to talk about all of the schools represented today. So in Topeka Public Schools, we really have five high schools, three comprehensive high schools, two alternative high schools, and we really also have students that attend the TCALC program that are also represented within their home schools. So I want to talk about all of those. We are so fortunate. What a year. You know, this year has been quite the challenge, and students, you've demonstrated that you can overcome any challenge. Because you're here today, you're representing your families, you're representing other students, you are a role model of possibility. You see, when the pandemic came, many individuals chose to kind of take a gap year to, to, to not continue in their schools, but not in Topeka Public Schools. We still have a record number of graduates. We're actually projecting our graduation rate will still continue to remain steady and or increase. And with those increases, we have the majority of our students attending all kinds of post-secondary universities in addition to the military. We have students that are also going right into the field of work because they've been able to graduate with the credentials from high school to do that, thanks to our partnership with Washburn Tech, thanks to the TCALC internships. We have students going right into the field of work. We are so proud of you. Congratulations. I remember throughout the course of this year, at the beginning of this year, I sat with many students on my superintendent's advisory. They included students like Zoe Carroll, who has quite the load as an athlete and a student scholar. She's a Topeka High student that served on that, who really spoke pretty, pretty strongly about what she wanted this year to look like. Kelm Lear, just to start off the year at Topeka High, collected masks for students, and he was featured in a variety of articles about service above self. I get a chance to see Kelm Lear every now and then at Rotary, as he's also a Rotarian, a young person that really has quite a bright future ahead of you. We're so proud of all of our students, and there are many others on the superintendent's advisory, both seniors, juniors, and other levels. Uh, additionally, on that same advisory, we're so excited to this year to have celebrated uh, the National Honor Society and the continued over 95% graduation rate at Topeka West. You see, in that National Honor Society, the president is one of the superintendent student advisories as well, uh, and that student, Chase Holston, has been just uh, a voice of uh, balance and opportunity, of leadership. He has spoken about all kinds of things that students face to ensure that we provided services this year that looked different and gave many options. You know, he's one of the reasons why we continued providing virtual and in-person in ways that we could wrap our arms around students. Chase, we are so proud of you and what you've done and as a leader, not only as a president of National Honor Society, but as an ROTC member and just as a student that uh, has brought voice to the table for so many that have been impacted. I'm also excited to talk about Highland Park. It's a school in East Topeka which has uh, so many opportunities to create uh, innovative ways to connect with the community. And oh my goodness, I, on my superintendent's advisory, we have a student, Mr. Perkins, who's an athlete but also a scholar who uh, really helped guide kind of what some in-person and uh, remote experiences could look like in support of all students. Mr. Perkins, I'm so glad you were selected to be on the Student Superintendent's Advisory. Your voice has been a voice that's made change and opportunity. Maya, you are quite the athlete and scholar, and we're proud of you and all of our students at Highland Park. Speaking of being proud, we had this wonderful opportunity in the last month to celebrate Alicio Barino, a student who's been in Topeka Public Schools from kindergarten through 12th grade. He was a student at Scott uh, Dual Language. He was a student at French and now at Highland Park. And this student won a four-year scholarship. Uh, the Root Scholarship is one that gave him over $80,000 to pay for his books, his college education, his entire experience, and he won that based on academic merit. Wow. 
How amazing. He is the valedictorian for Highland Park High School this year, and he is quite the scholar. We are proud of all of our Topeka Public Schools graduates. You know, you've shown that service above self is really where you stand because you have chosen to wear your mask, to do all the things that you needed to do to serve your community, to serve your school, and to get to today, to make sure that all students had the opportunity to be back in person and to graduate. Thank you for your service above self. So I just want to encourage you, I, I love each and every one of you, those that I have not met directly, especially during the pandemic, and those that I have know that I recognize, uh, as Dr. Martin Luther King says in one of his speeches, that I can't do well unless you do well, and you can't do well unless I do well, and that interconnection between us uh, means that you will forever be a Topeka Public School student, whether you're a Scott, a Trojan, or a Charger. Whether you went to Cap City or Avondale West, whether you attended a TCAL program or a College Prep Academy program, we are TPS. It's our hashtag and it certainly represents uh, all that we bring as one collective body. So I encourage you to continue to engage, prepare, and inspire others for a lifetime. We love you Topeka Public Schools graduates. As we gather today, Apart from each other, I am thinking about this community, the students we are recognizing, and the people who have contributed to this milestone in our graduates' lives. The gatherings and collaborations and networks of folks who aren't in one room or in one building or on one stage today, but have been gathered for years, helping us get to this day, and are huddled around us now at this moment, celebrating. I represent one part of that community, the Topeka Public Schools Board of Education. Our school board is with you today. We captured their pictures before we had to social distance. On the back left is Dr. Richard Bonebrake, then is Dr. Michael Morrison. Next to Michael is Mr. Lalo Munoz, then Mrs. Sue Bowley, and on the far top right is Mrs. Melanie Stewart Campbell. On the front rows, on the, sitting on the right of Dr. Anderson is Reverend John Williams, who serves as our board vice president. I'm the bald guy on the front left. We are here with many others in the Topeka community, this group of people educating, coaching, supporting, developing, feeding, listening to, and cleaning up after our graduates. The families, friends, teachers, coaches, administrators. The audience is large, it's far and wide. This group has been guiding us all to this day. Today, I hope you will think of what you have gained, of the community you have created, and look ahead to the community you will build, the connections you will create, the differences you will make. Your rearview mirror is small, just a few inches across. A few memories will linger. Your windshield is larger. Your view ahead is wide and deep and broad and bright. Congratulations, graduates. Enjoy that view. It is my privilege as the principal of Topeka High School to welcome you to the senior video celebration. The class of 2021 is a very special one indeed, as this is the 150th senior class for this historic institution. Although the past 14 months have been unlike anything we could have imagined, this group of students have found a way to persevere. They have remained true to their Tory standards of Trojan best, respect, ownership, and your success. During the past four years, their Trojan Best has appeared through community service projects, becoming Zoom experts, problem solving new ways to do old things, and working with their teachers to find new and better ways to teach and learn in a remote setting. Most importantly, they have worked to support one another in every way possible. Respect is something our seniors have displayed throughout high school, but it has most certainly been keenly present during this pandemic, where they have been leaders in ensuring the utmost safety inside our school and community. These young men and women have shown ownership of their learning in ways that no class before them has been asked to do. Most importantly, class of 2021, your success lies ahead of you, as you will be able to take the best of what you have learned, making the post-COVID world an even better place. You have without a doubt left your own special mark on the halls of Troy, ensuring that the challenges of the pandemic are but a part of the many things that make your class excel. During the past four years, you have shown success in music, 
the arts as members of debate and forensics, athletic teams, scholars bowl, dance, and cheer. You have participated in clubs and helped form pop-up clubs, enjoyed a performance, or been a part of the madrigals, jazz band, marching band, or the orchestra, watched or been a member of an ROTC honor guard or competition, have enjoyed the drum line at a Friday night football game, and have celebrated those traditions unique to THS, like renting the halls. You've been recognized as honor roll students, national merit scholars, placed in academic organizations such as National Honor Society, and you are now reaping the rewards of those successes as the recipients of scholarships for use in your post-secondary schools. Many of you have held down jobs as you have completed your high school requirements, and you have used this experience along with opportunities at TCALC and Warspring Tech to earn certifications that will let you move directly and successfully into the world of work, full-time or part-time as fits your goals. For all of these reasons and so many more, you have come to represent the tradition and diversity that is unique to THS, and I congratulate you. As you now prepare to step into life after high school, Please know that the teachers, staff, and administrators of Topeka High School are proud to have been a part of your educational journey, and we wish you the very best of what life has to offer. Hoi hoi, mighty Troy. It is, and always will be, a great day to be a Trojan.